I'd also like to acknowledge here all of the team members who have joined us for the press conference and all of your amazing work for these two missions. <laughs> okay, we're going to start now with NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein. Well, thank you. Uh, what an amazing day. To start, uh, I want everybody here to know that I've been on the phone recently with both the President and the Vice President, and they are overwhelmingly proud of everything that has gone on here today. They watched the entire thing. Of course, they were very anxious and were anticipating greatness, which ultimately we had today. Um, but what an amazing day, and they are so grateful for all of the hard work of everybody in this room. Now to questions, we're going to be taking questions. We will take some questions from here in the room. Hi, Emily Lakdawalla with the Planetary Society. Uh, a detailed question: Do you know um, how large the kind of the pebbles are that you can see in front of you? I haven't really had a chance to look at this image in, in any detail, and it's kind of difficult to judge the size of things because this is a, a, a fisheye camera, so it's a very distorted view. It's, it's actually showing uh, almost the entire area in front of the, of, of, of the lander kind of compressed into you know, a, a, a narrower image. And so uh, the, we have experts on the team, I'm sure, already pouring over this, and, and in the next uh, day or so, you know, we'll, we'll have some measurements of, of the, the dimensions of some of these rocks. Margaret Carrero, KNX Radio. Uh, we talk a lot about looking into the interior of Mars. Why should we all care about this? I know it's exciting, but why should we all care? What do we expect to, to get out of digging into Mars? Okay, so the reason why we're digging into Mars is really just to better understand not just Mars, but the Earth itself. And so we can basically use Mars as a time machine to go back and look at what the Earth must have looked like a few tens of millions of years after it formed. And by doing that, we can then look at our physical models, our theories of how the Earth evolved and understand why the Earth became the way it is. If you look at uh, Earth's twin, Venus, um, it's almost the same size, but it's an extremely different uh, surface environment. It's, it's very hot, the atmosphere is very sulfurous, there's not much uh, oxygen, and yet, why is it different than the Earth? And we have some theories about that, and they generally have to do with very small differences in the, uh, the, the way the, the planets evolved from that initial state. And so Mars will help us refine our models, understand why a planet might go one way like Venus or the other way like the Earth. And finally, when we actually look at planets around other stars even, we can actually begin to uh, estimate you know, which ones might be habitable and which ones uh, maybe not habitable.